Replacing a space station communications antenna, another round of testing for our lunar roving robot, and discussing space policy and priorities. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On December 2nd, NASA astronauts Tom Marshburn and Kayla Barron ventured outside the International Space Station for a spacewalk to replace a faulty antenna system. The antenna recently lost its ability to send signals to Earth via NASA's tracking and data relay satellite system. Although the antenna's condition has had limited impact on station operations, mission managers decided to swap it out with a new antenna to ensure communications redundancy. NASA's Volatiles Investigating Polar Exploration Rover, or VIPER, went through a second round of egress testing at our Johnson Space Center. Similar to a car after a cross-country trip on an auto transport, VIPER's egress is the process of the rover making its way out of the lunar lander and down onto the surface of the moon, albeit after a much longer journey from Earth to the moon. Viper is the agency's first lunar mobile robot and is scheduled to be delivered to the moon in late 2023 as part of our Commercial Lunar Payload Services initiative. On December 1st, the first National Space Council meeting under the Biden-Harris administration was held at the U.S. Institute of Peace in Washington. In her remarks, Vice President and Council Chair Kamala Harris touched on several topics, including the need for global cooperation to help make space exploration as safe as possible. As activity in space grows, we must reaffirm, yes, the rights of all nations, and we must demand responsibility from all space-faring nations. We must establish and expand rules and norms on safety and security, on transparency and cooperation. The event also featured NASA Administrator Bill Nelson, who spoke about how NASA helps to inspire students to pursue educations and careers within a science, technology, engineering, and mathematics or STEM-focused area. Administrator Nelson and Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy visited our Marshall Space Flight Center on November 29th and 30th for a first-hand look at the center's vital work to advance the deep space exploration endeavors of our Artemis program. Marshall manages the agency's Space Launch System rocket, which will power the next generation of exploration under Artemis, including uncrewed and crewed flight tests around the moon that will pave the way for more complex missions to send astronauts to the moon in preparation for eventual human missions to Mars. NASA is accepting applications for new flight directors to lead highly trained teams during human spaceflight missions to the International Space Station and upcoming Artemis missions to the Moon and eventually the first human missions to Mars. Qualified U.S. citizens can apply. For more details, visit nasa.gov careers. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov twan.